So we all know that the MacBook Pro, the M1 Max, is a awesome computer, especially if you're into photo and video. In this video, I'm going to share my thoughts of the M1 Max and my long-term review of the computer. On today's episode, we're talking about the M1 Max and my long-term review and thoughts of the computer. I got my computer back in December of 2021 and I've had it for about seven months now and I've had enough time to really form a opinion of the computer. There's things I like, there's things I dislike, and there's things that um, are a little frustrating to be completely honest. A little detail about my computer, I got the 10 core CPU, 24 core GPU, and 32 gigs of RAM with one terabyte of SSD. I didn't see the need of two terabytes of SSDs, especially since I store a lot of my media and footage on external drives, so it kind of didn't make sense to me knowing that all of that was going to be going onto an external drive. Ultimately, I am incredibly impressed by this computer. It has made my workflow a lot easier. It's made it easier to work with a variety of different footage from different cameras, be that a red, be that a black magic camera, be that my little GH5, which I'm shooting on now. Working with these different cameras has become a lot easier. I've found that I don't really have to work with proxies as much, which is a huge step forward. And it's especially great when I'm trying to finish a project, when I'm in DaVinci Resolve and I'm working on a color grid where I have to be attached to the raw media and I have to be working with that media because let's face it, at that point in the game, you can't use a proxy. You need to have the full resolution footage in order to finish your project. However, there's certain things that I would have done differently if I bought this computer again. Personally, I probably would have spec'd it out. I wouldn't have gotten like a crazy storage, but I would have definitely gone to the fully spec'd out version of the M1 Max because I feel like in a couple of years, this computer is gonna be irrelevant. New cameras, new codecs, new um, raw, information is coming at us on a daily basis so it's not a question of if this is going to happen it's a question of when these computers are also able to allow us to collaborate easier with other professionals for instance if i want to get something done so i can talk with a producer or another editor or a motion designer i don't want to be held up in that process i want to quickly make my changes so i can start that dialogue and start having that conversation about how we can continue to move a project forward so ultimately, my thoughts are if you're going to get an M1 Max or M2, whenever that comes down um, in terms of the Max computers, my thoughts to you are spec it out. Make it the meanest, baddest computer that you can afford, knowing that it's going to cost more up front, but you're going to be paying for it in terms of just long term performance of the computer. Personally, I think my computer is going to work for the next couple of years, but I wish I spec'd it out. And I'm hoping, I'm seriously hoping that I won't have to replace it in the near future, but time will tell, time will show us where the camera world is headed, what's going to happen in post-production, and what's going to be required for me to do my job as a video editor, as a colorist, and as a post-production um, professionals. That's all I got for this episode of the vlog. I just wanted to jump on here really quickly and share my thoughts of the M1 Max and what you should be doing if you're going to be buying a computer here in the near future. Um, if it was informative, uh, please hit that like button. If you want more content that I'm putting out on a timely basis, please hit that subscribe button. And if you have thoughts, please leave a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions of uh, what you think of the M1 Max. If you have an M1 Pro, I'd also love to hear your thoughts on that computer as well. I'd love to have a dialogue with you. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on the computer, what you like, what you dislike, what you love, what you hate. This information is really helpful and it will help us all make better decisions in terms of computers that we should be investing our money into. Again, this is a community. I wanna see you succeed and uh, I wanna hear your thoughts on post-production and what computer you're using. But that's all the time we got for this episode of the vlog. But as always, create, share, and sustain the life that you want. Get out there and make some awesome work. Thanks, guys. Taking away. Taking away.